Hello, this is Fred McCoy. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi. We're at the Hatfield McCoy Museum in Liberty, Kentucky. Uh, for more information, you can go to Hatfields McCoy's Museum dot com. Show them that sign there if you want. Hatfield with an S on it. McCoy's, McCoy's Museum. The museum, then way down here. Dot com. Yep. Okay. And that is the uh, one of the websites for our museum. The other one, uh, FredMcCoy.com. Yeah. Both of them takes you to the same website, uh, just different pages. You have to go to the top of the uh, page there to click on the museum or whatever else you want, but uh, it, it'll get you to the right page. <clears throat> this is going to be another segment of keeping it real. And keeping it real is where Sheila and I mostly me because sheila doesn't like to be negative she mm -hmm. doesn't have a negative bone in her body so it that comes back to me and uh keeping it real is where we have heard something been told something saw something or watched something on a youtube video or TikTok or something and it's simply not the truth and yeah. we correct it and we correct it with photos we correct it with newspaper articles that you can trust documentation yeah exactly um and that's what we try to do to give people a better understanding without just coming on here saying it may be a rumor but i heard yeah. or i was thinking that uh this happened mm -hmm. or yeah, so we, we try to take out the guesswork and we try to correct those that did what we're correcting today is a an actual uh historian hatfield mccoy historian and he had a youtube video the other day and he was actually showing the picture of randall and sarah mccoy there with the circle around them Try not to get that that's Why? okay and uh, he said once upon a time i believed that this was randall and sarah mccoy uh but i don't uh i've been convinced that it's not well that's the thing about it is people Hatfields and McCoys are some stubborn people, and um, especially the West Virginia Hatfields, or at least Devil Lance's uh, line of the, the Hatfields. And uh, some people will argue uh, till they're blue in the face. And, and they've, they've convinced this man that it's not. There's no, no other reason except they just argued and argued and argued that that's not Randall and Sarah. And then he says, I, I'm kind of falling in that uh, towards that conclusion now um <clears throat> you know there's no joke i used to try my hand at stand-up comedy at one time and there's no joke that says have you ever met somebody that just likes to argue over anything they'll argue about anything you that mm -hmm. you can say two plus two and, and they'll say that equals five and you're thinking well i'll correct them and then you think to yourself no they're just wanting to argue so you just go along with them and you say oh yeah i forgot you got to carry the one. And that's what happens in the Hatfield and McCoy feud. Now listen, she's going to show this picture again, yeah. and she'll show it at the end of the video. I better that be. is Randall McCoy and Sarah McCoy. That is at the hanging of Cotton Top Hatfield. Yeah. Now anybody that knows anything about history <clears throat> knows that when they, this was the last legal hanging that they had in the state of Kentucky. Ellison Cotton Top Hatfield Mounts mm -hmm. was the last legal hanging that they had. Back in those days, even when they had a legal hanging, they had certain laws they had to go by. And one of them was they had to put a fence up around the gallows. So it was not viewable by the public, but yet it was called a public hanging. Uh, if you'll notice, these people here on this incline that they're not standing on level ground they're going up yep you can see they're, that they're on a hill and if you've ever been <clears throat> to the pipewell college uh where the marker is it's not mm. in the exact spot where the right. hanging took place but it's in that area but behind cotton tops historical marker is a hill now there's buildings there now, but that right. one, one time was a vacant hill. And that's where these people, they, they put their fence around their gallows. They did do that by law, they had to. So uh, the people that come to view that, which was in the thousands, mm -hmm. they brought picnic lunches, they brought their children, 
they got their mm -hmm. Sunday best clothing on to go watch a young man get hung. Wow. <clears throat> that presumably was probably innocent. He was special. Well, he was special, but at the same time, even uh, the last comments he made was, the Hatfields made me do it. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> we're getting off on another video. Sorry. But no, <laughs> that's okay. But the, the fact is that he was trying to make the Hatfields happy with him mm -hmm. actually shooting a McCoy, and he said that. But the, the story is that Cap Hatfield was the one that shot uh, Alifair, and uh, the mother, uh, Sarah, had even saw it. She testified in court that it was Cap. Even when Alifair went out the door, the last thing she said when she got shot was Cap. That's, mm -hmm. that's who she saw when she was shot. But irrelevant, he hung for it. He was the escape mm -hmm. Devil Lance let it go. It wasn't one of his boys. It was actually Ellison Hatfield's son, along with Harriet, his first cousin. I always like to throw that in there because for some reason they've always liked to throw things back. So I, I like to, it goes both ways. It's, it's on both sides. Um, but in short, and um, keeping it real, were th this is Randall and Sarah McCoy. Sarah, you can't see her real good there. Sheila will post a better picture, but she's got mm -hmm. a bonnet on, mm -hmm. which most of the women there do. Mm -hmm. And back in those days when they attended a funeral or something like that, it was called a mourning bonnet. They were in mourning. And Sarah, she has a bonnet on, but whether the other women had a bonnet and it was in at the hanging or not, she would have still wore a bonnet. If you've kept up with Sarah, after Jim Vance and Johnsy beat her with the butts of their pistols and rifles and mm -hmm. kicked her, to an inch of her life. she had a big gash in her head. <clears throat> and even in the newspaper articles, when they, they, they didn't take pictures, they sketched everything then. Even when Sarah's on the stand giving testimony, you'll see the drawing that the reporter did in Louisville, Kentucky. And he's got a line right through her head here whichever side it was, <clears throat> and he's got a, a line through it. It, it, it. There was an indentation there where they had crushed her skull inward, and that's why she always wore a bonnet to cover that up, uh, the deformity that she had received from the uh, massacre um, uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, once again, this is Fred and Sheila. McCoy. McCoy, <laughs> and with, this is another video on keeping it real uh, I know it seems like we're, <clears throat> or me, is arguing most of the time. I'm not arguing. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to make it real. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to say, believe what you want. Here's the other version. Right. They're saying this happened. We're saying this happened. And we'll try to give you something to show you that we're the correct. And uh, the, the McCoy family... <clears throat> this is a uh, 2023 the McCoy family for as far back as I can remember knee high to a grasshopper that's Randall McCoy and Sarah McCoy at the okay. hanging and uh, these people throughout the years it's funny how they can come in here from New York they can come in here from Tennessee uh, all these different places and they can write books on the Hatfields and McCoys or they can write books and, and be a Hatfield and a McCoy and not even know they were one until years later, but then tell the history of the Hatfields and McCoys. We lived it. We grew up with it. That was our ancestors. She'd done a video a few minutes ago on um, uh, Rosanna and uh, Johnson. Johnson. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about Rosanna's baby, Sarah Elizabeth. Sarah, after her mother, Elizabeth after her Aunt Betty, where she went to live with to have the baby. when her father kicked mm -hmm. her out. Uh, Aunt Betty was actually my great-great-grandmother. She was married to Uriah McCoy, and that's who mm -hmm. took Rosanna in. This is people that knows. One person says th that it's another Aunt Betty, and her name wasn't Aunt Betty, it was Alan's Betty, which they were brothers and married. Both of them had Elizabeth. And we're going to do a video on that, but yeah. it's funny how... People that's even in the family don't know who their own relatives were, and they start writing books about things. And um, uh, again, it just goes back to the history of, of me being related to both the Hatfields, the Kentucky Hatfields. You're right. Uh, Preacher Ants Hatfield, 
and uh, Nancy Hatfield, his daughter, was my grandmother, and, and um, Asa McCoy was uh, my great-grandfather. So anyway, we've got a little bit of history there to go on, and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. If you do, like and subscribe. See Please. you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.